all right guys welcome so today we're going to be jumping in and uh checking out horizon forbidden west now um we've played horizon zero dawn the pc version of the game was actually the it was years after the game came out that i actually played it for the first time uh it was you know recommended by you guys in the community absolutely love the game and then forbidden west came out a few months after i played um zero dawn and uh we played it on playstation uh, it was it was okay i enjoyed it a bit but as you guys know i'm a native pc player so like having to play a game like this that requires fine aiming and stuff like that um wasn't extremely enjoyable for me because i had to use the controller the whole time but uh i still enjoyed the story quite a bit uh there was a dlc that came out that we never played because it was just I didn't want to go back on my PlayStation, honestly. And I didn't even know that this game was coming on PC. I had no idea. Um, and yeah, I kind of just logged on to Epic the other day and I seen it. it was coming out here in a few days and I was like, oh crap. So here we are, guys. We're going to jump in. We'll check it out. Um, I don't know if this is something that you guys want to be another series on the channel. Um, it'll kind of just be, we're just jumping in, see what it looks like on PC at least. Let those of you guys who haven't seen the game yet maybe get a, uh, an idea of what the game is if it's something that you want to go back and play the because the, the two games are def this is definitely a sequel to the first game um so it's one of those games you really need to play the first one i mean i guess you don't have to but uh you i, I would suggest that you do play the first one before you play this one um because you kind of follow Aloy and her whole story and her development and stuff like that as a, as a character. So I believe they do a recap. Um, they, well, I know they do a recap because as soon as I hit confirm on this, a video started playing. So uh, remember, if you guys do want this to be a full series, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below, and uh, let me know what you guys thought. And we'll definitely keep it rolling for you guys. Definitely keep it rolling. And uh, yeah, if this does well, then we'll, uh, we'll keep playing for sure. So uh, let's get this recap rolling. And... Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side. Let's do it. Well, nope, I don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. We'll skip that. There we go. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. This dude, man. This dude. 
Will with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much, man. What's up, brother? How are you and the family doing? It was good. Uh, son's birthday was today. It was a good time. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. Whoa, Tyler, dude. No way. That is a huge super chat. What? Oh my, finally got my service connection, disability stuff taken care of through the VA. I suffer pretty bad PTSD and it really helped a lot. I really appreciate you, brother. Keep, first of all, Tyler, hey brother, hey, keep up the good fight, man. I, I Trust me, I know that struggle more than you probably know, dude, but uh, appreciate your service, brother, and I appreciate your kindness, man. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, seriously, thank you for that, man. And I'm glad you got that worked out, dude. Uh, Cause I know sometimes that could be a pretty rough battle with the VA. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Thank you, thank you. And Paul with the gifted, thank you, brother. Whoever receives that, welcome to the fam. All right, let's get it, chat. Um. I think you could change this in game. We'll see how Explorer looks. I don't mind exploring a little bit. Seriously, guys, thank you so much. Hmm. I might have to turn the sensitivity down once we get in game. Wow, that looks good. So, um, when we played this on console, as you guys know, console's frame rates are locked and not true 4K. This. Wow. This looks good. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. Hey, bro. Finally got my service connection disability stuff taken People care of through the VA. I suffer Soon. pretty bad PTSD and we'll your start. videos help a lot. I really appreciate you, brother. Keep up the All great work. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. Damn, this shit look good, Chet. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. Finally grounded out beat all boss beside last one trying I've fight him tonight to ill beat the game might try this game out. And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. This is just a cutscene chat. We'll see what the actual gameplay looks like. This is pretty as hell. 
This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um, I should- Oh, no. I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. That man's like, like a little ass kid, dude. Shall we? on the way here we should find some medicinal plants stock up so it's time for your first lesson with the focus sounds good let's get started let's see how this gameplay actually looks set these plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands the focus helps you see the ones we need God damn. Will, thank you, thank you again. Uh, I appreciate the two super chats, man, the super chats, and congrats, dude, on that Elden Ring W, man. That that's a big deal, dude. Focus can reveal what we need. Uh, I appreciate it. Crazy Chris the Gamer, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. Then we got Tim dropping five gifted on the channel. Everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the family. Chat. This game looks How do I ridiculous. Get to show the plants we need. It can send out a pulse. I'll demonstrate. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. All right, so let's gather medical. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Oh. Okay, I'm going to turn the sensitivity down just a tiny bit. It's really not that bad. Um, they're baseline sensitive. Some of these games, oh my gosh, I freaking... You touch it and it's just...
Alright, let's see how that feels. Alright, so we're just filling up right now on our, our, our pouch. Damn, this shit looks good, chat. What? Like, look at the grass and the moss textures. That's insane, dude. And the first game was really pretty, too. Now, did it say it hit Q to use the focus? So I'm totally smashing Q, and it's not focusing. <coughs> oh, whatever I just touched was slimy. I'll take your word for it. Oh, it's V? Oh, okay. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. Well, we gotta I see a few ways chest down. down here. I don't know how to put these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. Right, what sure. are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um it's an AI. It's um Ooh, don't no 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 oh, Think of it like a set of instructions to That's one way down. That, that was one of the many ways, chat, he was he was talking about getting down. Yeah. I just I, uh, I just wanted to showcase that way. Wow. Yeah, the guys, this game is gorgeous. It is actually gorgeous. Light. It's everywhere. Uh, let's keep heading this way. <coughs> Dude, the blight actually hurts you when you step on it. I didn't even realize that. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Press H to reveal the full HUD. Okay. Got it. Uh, this is the main story. Yeah, this is the very, very start of the game, so... A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. Yeah, we're gonna grab some wood here. Good thing we already picked up some ridge wood. Okay, we're right. completely full on health. Now to craft some arrows. We'll grab some more ridge wood real quick just so we have enough to craft arrows later too. Now, um, like I said, this is one of those games where if you haven't played the first one, uh, you're, you're like him, you're probably like, who the hell is this guy? They're gonna be referencing, you know, like the whole beginning conversation was them referencing uh, the end of the first game, so. Take the arrows out of the, uh, the other, you can't trust the integrity of used arrows. All right, so let's go craft. There Done. we go. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder, but can't reach it from here. So shoot Something it. A well-placed arrow can't knock free. That did it. Just have to target the lock. After you. <laughs> so 
So does it, uh, are the settings and everything looking good for you guys? I cranked the graphics as high as the game could possibly go, so this should be top tier. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission, the uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. Oh shit! Is it dead? Yeah, so, it's dead. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. So yeah, this game, I wouldn't say this game is like a survival game, because it's not a survival game in any regards, but um, there is a lot of resource gathering and crafting uh, for, you know, weapons, upgrades, armor, things like that. So it is one of those games you're going to be spending some time going out, farming machines for resources, not getting through um, that so way. you can upgrade your, your gear and equipment. It's really, really, really cool systems. Trying to grab as much ridgewood as we can way. for the arrows. Right, here we go. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Yeah, this was the introduction to a new uh, machine. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Alright, so in this game, you definitely want to do your research. Um, so this is a borrower. It tells you what they're weak against, so it's weak against fire. Um, you can look at all the specs. Uh, it shows you all the different components of each machine, and the machines get really, really complex as the game goes on. Uh, so right back here, we got the resource canister. Um, so we definitely want to knock that off. The sound shell on the bottom here, like if you destroy certain parts of the machine, you can disable some of, it, some of its attacks. Uh, like I, So if we can, we want to hit this sound shell down here, and that'll disable its uh, little scream attack. All right, let's see. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. The eye will be the easiest to hit for me, okay, at least. Right. Let's see if we can line up a shot here. Another one's coming. Find anything good? A few supplies. Oh, stuck. This. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. We're already down to nine arrows, so like I said. after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work in building the city. And I set out to find you. Someone shot this machine, too. So 
So we grab a bunch of wood. As you guys see, we just blew two machines and we blew through a good bit of our uh, our ammo and stuff. Said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. I don't even know if we need to come this way. Going into a ruin of the old ones. God has protect us. We'll be okay, Varl. Right, I'm gonna mess around with some of these controls real quick um Pretty much everything that requires left control move over there through here welcome to the far zenith launch facility far zenith i, I know they made some tech trades with zero dawn but just know you and me's gaming my top two they have group comedy and chaos while you have the same that. comedy but you're more wholesome on content and more family them. friendly open mouth smile Will, thank you so much for the super chat, man. I really, really appreciate you, brother. Unlimited loot space. I, uh, you, I think you know. You actually, I think you got to upgrade your resource uh, bags if you want to hold more stuff. All right, let's register as a visitor. Please hold for a dentist scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you, Doctor Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Please hold for identiscan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess it doesn't like me either. Oh, here we go. See, it. got a chest over here. Whatever happened to Conan, um, we, Ark, um, re released the, the new, you know, ASA back then Should when we were playing Conan. Um, there was a lot of stuff going on, plus the series was kind of fizzling around a little bit. Damn, yeah, this is, yeah, it's a really pretty game, holy it's shit, this is probably here. one of the best looking games I've seen. Someone dropped in from above. Whoever left us here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? Look at that fire, dude. The entire camp. Oh. Why doubt? They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. Acid. And it looks like something big came in from above. I don't remember. Right through the camp. I don't remember exactly like the whole game. It's been years. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Okay, let's see. Is there anything here that we need for loot? Loot goes into uh, a storage when you can't carry anymore. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the melee, dude. Yeah, and I think there's like a skill tree and stuff, and you can actually make the melee really, really good, like, um, depending on your play style. There's a lot of stealth kills, things like that. Yeah, these dudes got shredded. I don't remember how to... 
can be dislodged. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. The heck is that? It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Okay, search the camp for the parts to repair. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Something over there, too. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. All right, so we got the pole caster, which is a legendary piece of gear. Uh, it's cost broken tool. All the stuff that we looted from the, the mission there. Go ahead and get this crafted. There. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Pull cast is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate. Yeah, so. There's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. Rope ladder up we there. Have to find a way to keep going. Supplies. I think I can use huh. the pole caster on it. What's this thing for? Really? I don't think I got this before. The pole caster can't reach from here. I need to get closer. this whoa good morning I'm Oswald Dalgard and it is my pleasure to introduce you to far Zenith forget what you think you know about us our truth is simple we say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. I should open up my focus display. Guess we'll find out. So I see a ladder there. Oh. I might be able to get up there. Got a ledge here. I don't think I'm doing this right. Wow. Oh, let me try that, that again. Okay, so the that pull caster is useful. There is. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Uh, 
little sprint, long jump. That was close. And there was a ladder we could kick down to him over here. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There it is. And there's that chest. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Nice. So we got some ancient chimes. It looked like keys to me. Humans. Homo sapiens. Us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The serious system. There we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> Playback stopped. Oh, my headphones are going out. Fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? I'm on a monitor. Public Jesus presentation man. file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. There it is. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. No, I played this game when it first came out on PlayStation. 
Uh, but yeah, I would like to make it to the DLC. That would be amazing. I still can't believe the old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Show off. I gotta see if I can change, if that's a setting. So there's like a thing where you hit, like, if you double tap the movement buttons. Um, like dodge. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, double tap the dodge. I was like, it's kind of annoying. Much better. So now I can dodge when I want to dodge and not. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. Perfect. Feels so much better now. Yeah, it was that? That is huge. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. <coughs> up here. <coughs> Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. <coughs> you take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Stealth tutorial, baby. <laughs> Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Get closer and stay out of sight. You guys said there's an auto loot setting? Let me. That would be pretty nice too. Like I said, I've never really used any of the. Uh, what would that be in? Nah, I don't mind. You know what? Never mind. I, I want. I want to pick up my loot. So we can get the patrol path. All right, so this one's gonna come right over near me here. Gotta take it out. Getting fucked up. It's down. There it is. Got them all. I've been meaning to mention, I noticed you have a new look these days. 
The beard? <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. What do you Sorry mean, my good? whiskers offend you, anointed. I thought Varl's beard was dope as shit, guys. Leoric Semper Fi, brother, how you doing today, man? Uh, yeah, Wayne, hey, how you doing, man? Day was good. My was uh, my son and daughter's birthday party we had. Everybody had a good day today. Uh, what are we looking at? Six arrows. We're going to get some arrows crafted up here, too. I don't remember if we have to fight that big-ass snake thing. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll... Yeah, for those of you guys, you know, arc players and things like that, in this game there is um, the machines, and there's a lot of tameable machines that you can fight on and do things like that too. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. Oh, uh, the raptor tame is pretty cool. Wrong. The blight's made its way in here too. Uh, there's flying mounts. The map is. I don't know if I can see the map from here. Yeah, so where we are right now, we can't see the whole map, but yeah. I think you guys will like the the map. Let me check over here. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Will with the super chat, brother. Thank you, thank you. Uh, new Elder Lord here is some chains by the way. Hey, I appreciate it, dude. And again, congrats on that, man. Elden Ring's not an easy game to beat. Used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Yeah, we're actually getting some decent resources here. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Small health potion. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Big W Bruce, a new Elden Lord. Here's some change, by the way. Woo hoo! Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not Dismantled blow yourself it. up. And got more supplies. I, I really can't get past how good this shit looks, guys. This shit looks so good. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. So I'm MJ, yeah, if, machines. if uh, you gotta, you definitely gotta play the first game to understand the world, the technology, why she's using a bow and arrow. Um, uh, because yeah, the machines and uh, it's it's a whole whole thing. The, pretty much the world has been taken back to primitive stone age and they kind of just build things out of machine parts but they don't have access to that kind of technology I can use this okay I should have what I need to craft a trap so I can okay nice so we can do our own blast traps Um All right, uh, so we'll do there. Explosive trap made. A couple of these explosive traps. One of those. What hit it. I've never been super good with the traps. Over here. It's not hey, my boy. it's not really Think my playstyle. Uh, but in this game, yeah, building, like, trap areas is quite important if you want to, like, fight some of the bigger machines. Definitely gotta... Machines ahead. Ooh, scrappers. Scrounger. Yeah. Scrounger. So they got the laser. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Where is its path? 
right here in front of us. I could have just stealth killed it, but I want to test out the traps here. Marl, you better move, dude. I don't think it's going to one-shot it, though. The traps aren't that strong, are they? That's definitely where it's at, guys. That's definitely where it's at, dude. So you can highlight the tr thing here. Place a trap here. It should be another easy skadoosh. Yeah, no, the trap definitely was a lot more power. It was a lot more powerful than I thought it was going to be for sure. Going on. Lorenzo, thank you so much for the super chat. Just purchased uh, Dragon Dama 2 playing it while watching you. Love Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, the game is beautiful. Hope you like a lot of old world ruins. Lorenzo, thank you so much, Are man. They all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let the babies know you all said, you guys said happy birthday. Yeah, that trap was pretty nice, guys. Now, granted, I don't have the resources to keep just spamming them, so um, we're going to have to definitely find additional ways. But I kind of just wanted to showcase the trap system. Oh, good job. Yeah, so I've never played the DLC. Um, I've heard good things. A lot of people were saying that the DLC for this was amazing. Uh, definitely never played the DLC. So remember, if you guys do want this to be a full series, you want to see you know more of the main game plus the DLC, hey, to show love to the series. What's up, B? Hello, chat. I, B, I just purchased That's DD2 score, play in it. While there. I watch you, lol, love HFW. Yeah. The game is beautiful. Hope you yeah, like it. Strong. Tell our son happy B-Day. More frequent. Yeah, definitely uh, the storms, showed the that love. Lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. <clears throat> it doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I want to look out this window. I'll tuck this away to study later. And, and the thing is, is this area looks really beautiful, um, but there's a lot of different biomes in this game. And I'm just excited to see, like, could you imagine what, like, the coast looks like, guys, with the ocean? Or, like, the desert, or the mountains? I can't even imagine what the hell this game looks like in the... Oh, 
Looks like we've got to climb up. Okay, so we can climb up there, lower this ladder here. I wonder what's up here. This place is really falling apart. It's just an additional way well, to get up. is a thousand years old. Tyler, how Looks you like doing? Some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, and powered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, <clears throat> but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's. More than that, it's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this? Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? My man Varl was struggling. He's like, dude, I believed in this my whole life. If you're killing my religion. Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Thank you, dude. Weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. Frost Blastling. The Blastling launches bombs that affect large areas. Okay. Um, this weapon uses fires frost bombs. Use them against enemies to build up brittle state. In the brittle state, the enemies are more. Okay, yeah, so we can. I don't remember how to.
Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, there it is. That must be the machine. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. That's a big boy, chat. Game's starting it up. Starting it. <laughs> starting out with one of the big boys. Machines. More of the Oswald Delvers. And a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Said they wanted me to try out my new weapon, but definitely not worth uh, so wasting the bombs you said right this now. This backup is the last hope. Yeah, all those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? Think we're clear. No, he was worse. Trying to see if there's any goodies around here. Tim, holy crap, man. Thank you. Dropping another five gifted on the channel, dude. Everybody was... And then Alex with the gifted. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, every, every one of you guys that received one of those memberships, welcome to the fam. There we go. And Paul dropping the gifted. Thank you, guys. I use a full-size keyboard, yeah. I have a, uh, a half keyboard for... Uh, with my stream PC, but my main PC, I just use a full size. Wow. That big metal thing looks like the ship we saw back in the auditorium. Awesome. Imagine going up to the stars in that. Machines tore right through them. These guys couldn't catch a break. We're looking good on ammo right now. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. Two right now.
There it is, chat. No, it's not. a lot of damage. There it is. Okay. Now how to get out of here. So, uh, one of the things too, when you knock off parts of the machine, make sure you, you go and loot those parts because some of them, like, some of the crafting items you have to make later in the game, which is one of the systems I love so much about this game, um, you have to knock off certain parts of a machine to use it for crafting. Um, and, and certain parts sometimes require you to use certain types of ammo so you don't destroy it. Right through the wall. There's a ladder in the back. What's in here? Get some valuables. Yeah, don't sleep on the melee either. The melee in this is actually pretty good. Um, especially if you spec into it. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. Slaughtered all those Osirim, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement, convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make it fall into the basin. I thought, I, I, I thought you had to fight one. I don't remember there being three of those fucking things. That's so sick. Get to that tower. I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle.
Maybe I should stick to my career for now. Save some ammo. Gives you a second even when they discover you to still get that stealth attack off. So these peppers here are a new resource. There's a ladder. Good shot. There. That ladder can get me to the tower. It's already lowered, I think. Oh, she's being a bitch. Okay. That's cool. Had to really rear back, dig into it. Brody, what's going on? How you doing? So my goal is to try to drop that giant space shuttle down on. Uh... Okay. There it is. It if I launch myself off that grapple point. Press test grapple point before reaching. Oh, could a lot to launch in air. Got it. Got it. Okay, we're tracking. We're tracking. Can, so, I, uh, can I scan those dudes from here? No, nope, still too machines far. killing Osirum and leaving acid everywhere. Right. Uh, uh, that was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. Looks it looks pretty nice, guys. That <laughs> shit looks good. Sucking, dude. I still wouldn't survive in this world, chat. Like, all right, let's be real. I need you guys in chat to be real with me. If you had to do what Aloy just did, all right, like life or death situation, we're in this apocalyptic world and you had to make it across this gap do you think you would have been able to do, do all of that oh, but like, just scaling this nearby. wall alone if i can release the clamps the shuttle should fall would be rough right into the basin because i would totally be dead as fuck dude 100 percent guaranteed More machines in my way. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'd be dead before I jump, dude. <laughs> okay, so we got one there. What is it? Burler? Yep, so we got a burler there. 
I only see the one machine. Another scrounger over here. Won't be able to get it on that path. Stalk your prey, chat. Knock down there. Control console might be in there. those machines down below. Se hasta la vista. Of course, it is. to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Thank you. Gravity. Now how to get up the tower? Scanning with my focus could help here. If I pull that beam down, it might drop the access lift. the whole damn tower down with it. Yeah, the music is so good too. This should be the right spot. There. That connector's holding the cables together. It should break if I shoot it. 
One down. I just need to climb higher and attach the second set of cables. Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting down below. Daniel, I'm glad you're enjoying it. The um, Banishers was so good too, man. Oh, dude. It's one of those games I wish I could like erase from my brain in the replay. Sunset, he's the Uno birthday boy champion. He just won a Uno game. Almost there. There's the other connector. All right, you guys ready, chat? Later, bro. So. Okay, where's that weak spot? Alright, so this is a slither fang. Um, as you guys can see, it has tons of freaking components. Oh my god. And it literally will show you to every component and where it's located. So the Sonic Hood, uh it's weak versus fire frost and plasma. So if we destroy those sonic things on its side, it will disable its blast attack. I don't have plasma arrows. It's out on PC now. All right, we'll have to just kind of see. Got it. There! Can't 
for them. So where do we want to start working on our points, chat? Um, there's so many different play styles. We could focus on Machine Master, Infiltrator, which is like more stealth-based stuff. Let me see, what do we get from this? Silent Strike deals more damage. Survivor, Hunter. Concentration. Increase your concentration limit. Aim. Oh yeah, that's the slowdown time. We'll grab that. That's pretty useful too. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Varl's gonna have to find another way there. Damn. So fuck Varl, right? Oh yeah, so this is a piece of the snake. Um, you can sometimes pick up pieces of the machines and use them as weapons. I don't even know what the hell this one is. Ooh, that's nice. All right, let's see. Does this thing have any... tons of resources on it? That was a pretty rough fight, only having our bow and the frostling. I think that's all the goodies in here. Let's head out. Heal the blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay. I should find the server room. 
What's the backstory of this game? Brody, you'd have to... This is the second version of the game, so... Um, yeah, you're missing the whole first game, uh, which is a mystery in itself. Like, you start off, you don't really know anything. Um, you believe the whole, like, theme, the religion, everything that they... The, like, the beliefs that the characters have. Um, it's... Damn, that shit looks good, Jet. What the fuck, man? Um... So you definitely want to check out the first game. There's so much going on in this. It's, it's a really good IP. It's a really good story. Um, I'm close. I have to be. I ain't gonna lie, Chad. This is probably visually one of the best games I've seen in a long time. Dude was a hacker and they tried stealing the system. He was just he was trolling. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. Damn, yeah, Aloy, you relax. Oh, fuck, Gaia. It's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. Just shit all over my man's hopes and dreams, dude. sharp bite sometimes you know but it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin the thing is um there's going to be more of that i'm out of leads varl but i i have to keep searching and fast and whatever risks i have to take i will and it doesn't make sense to have someone with me someone who might get hurt this is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Farrell. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? 
Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <sighs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Your Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. What do you mean? I'm hating every second of this whole adventure. I've got a bad feeling about this. So, again, um, for those of you guys that didn't play the first game, a lot of this doesn't make sense to you. All of the, the area we're in is actually where the end of the first game takes place. This tower, the spear being stabbed into this it's all in the first game uh so that's why i tell people you kind of have to play the first game if you're going to play this one just because the uh, it, it, this is a true sequel like a true sequel it's literally it's like goes from the first game into this one um but i know there's a lot of people in chat that are like what's going on <laughs> could pull this thing out of the house. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Uh, 
Maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. So I think I could pull this towards me. Yep, there it is. There we go. No, how to cross over to uh, Timmy? I've already played Ghost of Tsushima twice on the channel, and we just played it um, recently. Like, actually, I think within the last year. Should be able to get up there now. Um. It, it going to PC wouldn't matter for me personally because I, I, I play that game on controller anyways. Um, and I've already played the DLC and everything. Where this game I haven't played the DLC. Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it. There wouldn't be any benefit to be playing it a third time. Hopefully, just because we played it so recently. Looks like this panel's a jar. Go up through the inside. Ooh. An elevator? Let's see. Access lift activated. Of this. Russia, no, I never heard of that game before. Days gone. figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, and the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. Yeah, look at these fucking graphics, dude. <laughs> what? Excited, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day, 
few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Yeah, I forgot there's a lot of human Sunday. enemies in this one, which is awesome. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? That's a nice spear. Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Now I, I don't need to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Part of the Deathbringer we defeated. The Deathbringer chat. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Right, so where the hell is the? Uh, uh, is that a statue of me? That's new. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Let's talk to the homies real quick. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. How mommy I hold his arms out like that the whole I'm time, sorry, don't you? Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. Tanakh territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce. In hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two.
When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No, not in this case. Fashav is my cousin, nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands and has been held ever since. Well, at least they didn't just kill him. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man, which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well, I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. He wants them Aloy to at any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. So the when it comes to the dialogue, guys, um, in the game, uh, it's completely skippable. Like you don't have like this. Even this whole part right now, talking to these people, is optional. Uh, so I guess you know, whatever you're. You know, I, I like dialogue. I like cutscenes. I like because it, it adds a lot of you know context to the story. Um, so for me personally, I'm one of those people that watches all the dialogue. And if you're one of the people that you don't have to watch any of it, you know, what I mean? you can literally just it's all like it's kind of like like Fallout where it has all those optional dialogue. You can just hit time to go and just stop talking to them. So it, it all just depends on you and how much dialogue you want to deal with. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely not mandatory and and. It, it, it's yeah it's all just what you want to deal with which i, I like Your in games Fishov. how long has he been a tanakh captive five years tanakh emissaries swear he is well but i wonder that tribe is renowned for its brutality how did he survive well i'll know soon enough if you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. I... I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. Yeah. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you or hold you back. But I need to know, when your mission is over, will you return to Meridian and stay? 
long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Flashpoint offers moments of emotional choices. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Um, we won't leave them hanging, chat. We won't leave them hanging. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after... I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. Yeah, so I believe the yeah, the spear mission is up here. This little kid's got a spear of his own. It's I mean it's just a stick, but I mean why do they give that kid like an actual well, never mind. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? Look how, he has a whole ass sword on his head. For delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Edmund. I, uh, I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Forgot about the damn Thunderjaws. Ah, oh, Mr. Casper. Of course you're back. Talking about our Arkham Knight. Everybody in the world knows that Arkham Knight does not look better than this game. Give it a rest, would you? There, the workbench. All right, so we just got to upgrade this. I don't need to see it to know that. It doesn't even have DLSS 3 functionality, and uh, I know I'll fa I could just... I played video games for a long time. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. All right, cool, cool, cool. No, I definitely don't need to see it to know. I, I can just guarantee it doesn't look this good. Fanasha, thanks for being here. The when best part of Arkham Knight is it's dark, you so did, you don't have to see how bad it is. Fanasha, stop. <laughs> She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had. No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself. Vanasha was a beast in the you first game. Our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Have I played Doom? What Doom games have we played? I know we played uh, Doom 26. I haven't played Doom Eternal yet. I think that was the one we were uh, looking at playing. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified, 
Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> you ain't gotta lie, bro. Uh, so this game is not a PlayStation exclusive anymore. This, uh, what you see me playing here is the PC version. It just came out, I believe this week or, uh, yeah, it came out a few days ago. So you both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Damn. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about Edaman? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. I have not played Life is Strange. No, not yet. Tim, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it, brother. Well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go. Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Why does her voice sound so familiar? Like her voice and mannerisms. I feel like that's somebody I should know. It's well, that's everyone. I guess it was nice to catch up. For a little while. Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Patrick with the super chat. Play King Kong? Oh, we played King Kong, dude. You're not lying. You know, the graphics on that were pretty top tier. <sighs> Is she trying to dip out on Barl? Some thunder jaws. Am I a 
Those dudes are annoying as hell to fight. It is. Mr. Casper, just one one word of advice, brother. You said you beat this game on maximum difficulty because you're a real man, but I'm just going to let you know that a real man never says that they're a real man because that instantly makes you lame as fuck. If you got to, like, say you're a real man, you're lame as fuck, dude. Anyone use one of those to get around? Just so you know. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Just give me a ride, dude. Though, should anyone ask... Be best to say you forced me. Put a gun to his head. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming. All right, let's see. Let's get these points spent. So we got to start focusing on damage. Uh, let's see. Machine Master. We got Warrior here. Trapper, Survivor. Okay, let's work on this. Yeah. More heals. Uh, because it seems like we actually Something take quite a bit of damage. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is. They're not native to the Daunt. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross all of them. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is... Hold on, can we see the map yet? Okay, hold on. Um, so I'm going to show you guys here um, 
this is the actual map we're starting off in this little corner now the scale is is ridiculous it might not look like much guys but you know going from here to here is just like that whole self appointed distance you know on this stop. chain uh so you like for instance if we look this out idea. that way in this valley i'll show you guys so this is the map this is like this valley that comes into this area and then it comes into this area and it gets really 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 really, really big it comes all the way over here and then it comes all the way over to the coast here and i don't know if the dlc adds any like additional area um but this map is massive it is pretty damn big um yeah well i'm just passing through got an embassy to attend you should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon what are you talking about Will, thank you so much for the super chat hear that that's Not your answer <laughs> Who is that? Yeah, that son it is what it is, dude. him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. Uh, the DLC adds the Burning Shores area. If you don't do oh, as nice. I say immediately. The Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. <laughs> oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis, that's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Should have well, smack him in the mouth real quick. with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. There it is. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to chain scrape and wait for me there? You got it. Lawrence, thank you so Aaron, much for the re-up on the membership. The path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. And Tim, it thank you for be. the gifted man. Trust me. Alright, so let's see I here. I'll find Aaron. But it might be good to hit chain scrape first and upgrade my bow. I don't know how, uh, I don't remember how rough the bristlebacks are as an enemy. No, can I, can we mount up yet? I don't, I know we had a mount, um, the cutscene. I think I might have to tame another one. Let's get this boar.
Okay, so these aren't bristlebacks. These are just... There's a lot of these dudes. Holy crap. All right, let me see. So... Yeah, we got to stop at Chain Scrape right here. Uh, we got a burrow site here. We can kind of bypass. We don't need to clear it out. Do just want to see what this is, though. Oh, that's way up there. for a dire. Okay, not that bad. This place has seen better days. Thought that climb was gonna be so. Oh shit! Isn't there a? Or was that the first game that you had the, the glider? I don't remember if that was this game or the first game. I think it was this one. Is this one okay? Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was this one or the first one that had the glider. I'm on mouse and keyboard. It's locked. of a climb, dude. Some kind of device. No, 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 stop. Metal reflects the sun. Send a signal? <laughs> Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. Oh, that's the thing that sucks. We don't have a glider but it's all good we can just rappel down i don't think i can get past them i guess i should leave it for now oh i wasn't gonna kill the squirrel chat So it looks like we could follow this road into town too, I guess. Maybe? The game wants me to go back this way and not the way we're going, but... Might drop down here. Cut across. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Yeah, like armor.
the hell is that glowy green thing? Shine silver. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Yes, please. Welcome to Chain Scrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. Gotta move on. Petra. But, if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Yo, Aloy's always trying to keep it moving, chat. Always. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Okay, so I think we can get... Okay, so weapon upgrades, bow and arrow. Okay, so we could do level one, unlocks new ammo, increases uh, the weapon stats. All right, so level one gives us access to acid arrows. Um, Level two. Damn, I actually can go straight level two. Awesome, so let's go level two on this. And then level three, all we need is a uh, the burrower sound shell, which is not that hard. We just got to break it off, um, off of its chest. Then we could, uh, we could get this bow completely maxed out. Now it's a starter level bow. It's not that big of a deal, but. And then we could also do a upgrade for the blast sling here. Damn, I could do all three of these, actually. How did I get a bristleback tusk? Oh, no. So we're out of braided wire. Okay, and then outfit upgrades. We can increase the resistance of our gear here. And go level two. See, we did a lot of looting, so we're not hurting on resources. When it, we were able to get a lot more upgrades than pouch upgrades. Um, so we could do bomb satchel, which will allow us to hold six. Now for quiver, we need raccoon hides. So we keep our eyes open for raccoons. Uh, we need some more boar hides, squirrel bones, and squirrel hides. Okay. So that little squirrel that I said I didn't want to shoot, I should have shot it. 
I need the resources, guys. I didn't even think that the squirrel um, could actually be used for resources. Ammo that deals acid damage now is available. Yep. This should be useful. Yep, and it's already maxed out. We're good to go. Now I just need to find Aaron. To... Let's see what this guy Shop has for closed. sale. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Okay, so he, yeah, we can't even buy anything right now. What is this? Oh, it's our stash, okay. So all the stores are locked right now. Should we go have a drink with what's her face? Here we go. It's also. Yeah, this place is lit. So have a look at this. Hey, Milda. Milda. Took some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh. My apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. More than ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildiff. I'll keep an eye out. Do some hunting, chat. That's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Death Assassin, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, you don't ever have to apologize. Oh, you got enough bitter leaf. Just need to hunt for some wild meat and grab the metal panel from the scoundrel pile. Alright, so yeah, we already got the bitter leaf. Never fear, my lady. Let's go around and get it, grab a couple of these side quests. That way we can knock them all out while we're out. Uh, death, you don't have to worry about it. I appreciate you just being there. I hope everything's going well. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. 
We all know it was the Karja who let the Bristlebacks into the valley. Sent them straight through the gates of barren light. That is preposterous. Why would we let dangerous machines Ignoring into our again. own land? You mean the land that honest Osram <laughs> laborers work <laughs> Takes more than that to keep no me say down. In its governance? The land that should you sign the decree? Oh, you and that damned concession decree. Would be managed by the people who actually live and work on it. What do you want, Albunt? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. I forgot this dude, if he was shady or not, or he seems shady, doesn't he? Uh, Tim with a super chat. Thank you so much. I think the dogs are safe from this playthrough, but the grannies will see. Nah, man. You know me. Everybody's safe. Dan, what's going on? Just hopped in. Um, it, it's been looking and playing phenomenal, dude. Top tier. Top tier. And Will with the super chat. Uh, Tim, be more like the other character. Clap, right? No, dude. No, 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 no. Y you'll see. You'll see. I'm going to make you guys proud. <laughs> You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate? Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh... Burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. The voice acting is so on point. The facial animations on these characters. Top tier. Uh, what difficulty? We're just playing on normal difficulty right now, Bubba. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. This dude, man. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority, then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. 
I mean, I'm practically its founder. And its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Tim, with another super chat. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Granny face down in some muddy path. because No, that will never happen, Tim. You, you guys know. I don't. I don't. You said you founded Chainscrape. Not me. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents and barren light shadow. This guy's kind of shady. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say chain scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Okay, so that was a main... that card your magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Let's see what this side quest is. We will see, all right. We will see a granny face down on some muddy path because you ran over her with your mount. No, that's not gonna happen, dude. Let's see what's going what on. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast to chain scrape where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? So these Osram, they look like they're warriors. Like this dude looks like a warrior, but I think he's just a miner. You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as their blast hit, Tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get him open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Who's Corvind? He's their foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvind's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olven who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olven's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I would appreciate that. Thank you. I don't know if that will be in the same area that we're going to. Uh, he said... Right, we're going to be checking... Uh, quests. Yes, we got a couple. So these... This is level 5, level 7. And then the main quest is also level 5. Jesus, guys. I'm a little, I'm a little under leveled. A little under leveled. But hopefully doing some hunting, we should be okay. Anyone see where I put my drink? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, there it is. 
Will with another super chat, man. Read uh, Tim's super chat wrong. Uh, first, I, I have a green face down. No, dude. You guys just gotta have faith. Uh, Big Daddy with the super chat. I finally caught a live gameplay and finally playing Horizon, Horizon Forbidden West. Great game. Keep up the great gameplay. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Savior. Thank you for I upgraded my time. armor twice already. My condolences that you had to endure all of us bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. Yeah, we could do it. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. Chat, look how good they did on I'll his face. Find a way to live with him. With his five o'clock shadow? I have to. Like, you can see, like, the little individual, like, where he shaved, and, like, like, like that shit is... It is crazy looking. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but you could see the pores is all on his cheek, and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well. Let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. Well, let's do it. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Okay, so first things first, let's start off by... Aaron Tertis. Okay, so we just gotta get some meat, and then we gotta go to the scrounger site to get the, uh... This guy's pan, replacement for his pan. Now, these are all located down this way. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll hunt the boar here, and then, uh... We'll go ahead and clear out the scrounger site. Don't cover any closer. And one drink for a 
Got a boar right there. Let's see if we can line up the headshot. There's one. Whoop. Didn't want to do that. They've been killing some of the bristlebacks. Ground soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? Boy, mom, with the one year. Thank you so much. I'll grab this for my stash later. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, seriously. Remember, if you guys want this to be a full-blown series on the channel, hey, just smash that like button. Drop comments, you know, down below after the stream's done. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, when people just show up to watch it, it, it lets me know, too, that, you know, it's something that they want to see. Even if none of that other stuff is done. So we got a couple machines up there. I'm not too worried about looking for some boar. Got the squirrel. We needed squirrel hide um, and bone. Damn, I didn't even get any hot. Oh, so you could use any meat, Chad. Not just the boar meat. Any wild meat. I wonder if you could get the birds. There's a boy. Now, I don't think these guys are hostile. We need the raccoon. There. That should be enough wild meat for Nova. Looks like a lion's I think these are striders, right? Fang horn. So there is some machines that are... No, yeah, these dudes would definitely fight me. 100%. I don't think is there passive machines? I don't remember guys. I don't think there is. No. 
I don't know. I, I, I don't know if you can mount the fang horn. I don't know if that's one that you can mount. Because if I if I if I remember correctly, there's certain mounts that you or there, you can you can like tame certain things to follow, and you can't mount them necessarily, but you can have them fight for you, right? Like I think you can even like tame like the big ones. Like I think there's some big ones you can tame and even um, have fight for you. That's what I thought. Yeah, and I know you can like work on your your a skill that allows you to like tame better and better ones. Like, I think you can even like control like thunder jaws and shit, yeah, like the the, the, the rexes. Take all these dudes out. These guys are also weak to acid. So this machine seen the other one go down, so we're gonna nail him. Yeah, there's flying mounts. The map is so massive, without a flying mount it'd be pretty miserable. <laughs> I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing too. Bonds a loot here. Hope this tastes as good as it looks. Get all these scrap piles. We see, once the stores open up, we'll be able to sell the, the extra valuables and stuff that we have. I think there's one more machine right there. See any squirrels on our way back? We'll uh, try to hit those too. Oh, 
I don't know what that was, but we, we, we killed it. Oh, another raccoon. Okay, awesome. Got another squirrel. It's not as savage as it looks, Chad. The game's making it seem so much worse than it really is. Like, we're just hunting. You know what I mean? For survival. Uh, also, we need to see if we can get one of the. little voice box things off these some of the barrels have supplies of oh we'll keep that in mind going forward I don't know how to detach that thing exactly I'm gonna check the the data Okay, so let's see here. Yep. So compress air sac, detach to disable. Um, and collect. So how the hell do we detach it? So we need tear damage. If we had tear damage, we'd be able to rip this thing off. I don't know. Attack, removal, disable. Attack, detach, or destroyed. I wonder if I'll be able to take it off with a normal arrow. Uh, destroyed when killed so yeah you got to shoot it off if if you it's the only way to get it if you try to uh let's see oh, there's four of them got it yo did i really detach it first shot yes we got it guys we got the fucking sound shell could teach me how to override these machines. But where would they be? Okay, we're good. Got another sound shell. These barrels, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, we got another one of those green crystals here. but it's hard and shiny. I wonder if merchants would be interested. Okay, so we got enough resources to drop off. Let me check these other quests. So this one's good to go. Um, yeah, this one here. Injured to worry about the rest of his crew. So let me see, where is this one located? Up in the mine here. So we got to go back this way. Uh, we can also get a mount up here, I believe. Uh, right here. I think that's the, the ones we can mount currently.
so glad I decided to check this game out again. It's freaking so, so good. Do the merchants have the free samples like the first one? I don't know, Pat. I don't think we can pass through this way. Well, maybe we can. Yep. Climb up here. Of going all the way around. Smoke. Hmm. Coming from where Arnav said I'd find his crew. Damn, this valley is gorgeous. Charger site. Let's go see if we can go tame one of those. So I think that's what we were riding in the cutscene, if I'm not mistaken. This must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. Something big over there. What is that? Oh, I think it's uh one of the flame dudes. Let's see if we can tame one of these. I don't remember how to. I think you just crouch and walk up behind them. Got a mount, baby. It's that easy, chat. Look at the look at Yeah, they definitely tried to come at me when I when I tamed that one. Yeah, the whole group is all beat up here. That looks like the foreman Arnif mentioned. I should check in with him. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin. Arnav sent me. I'm... Not... Not now. Easy. <sighs> what happened? Explosion in the mine. Water flooded the whole place. Some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. 
John with the two over two years, 26 months, man. Really glad to see you back with Aloy. Such a fun game. Thanks for the entertainment. I'm glad you're enjoying it, brother. <clears throat> yeah, this place really Gotta did come down. Miners. Quick. sounded like the voice came from we're playing uh just so you guys know i'm playing with the like immersive uh, <clears throat> um like it's not the difficulty like the hud the ui it's like an immersive mode so i have to like actually search and use my focus it takes a lot of the um the markers and stuff off the screen so you got to kind of explore a little bit yourself <clears throat> Still kind of points you in the right direction on the compass, but. The miners. One of them doesn't look too good. Right, here's our guys. Is that a Nora? Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move, and I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft and blow it sky high. Hopefully without running anyone. Let's see. So we can't swim against the current. You guys see it's pushing me back. Oh, no cap. So, so you can have markers. There's nothing wrong with markers. Most games do have markers. It all just depends on you as a player. Some players want to like do more searching kind of like souls games where like, you know, there's, it, it just promotes exploration when you don't have markers that say hey go exactly here you kind of go to an area you have to search around talk to more npcs talk to more people it's it all just you can turn them on and play with them on if you want to it's like playing without a mini map some people turn mini maps off it all just kind of depends on you as a person and how you want to play the game some people like markers because they don't want to spend hours just walking around freaking fumbling in the dark trying to find somewhere which i'm you know on board with too because like if i ever got to a point in this game where i just can't find out where the hell to go i would just turn the markers back on you know what i mean uh so i wonder if i have to do that get through that other part I think I have to push off maybe we'll see push off of this yeah there we go the water's rushing in quick oh. <sighs> made it There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, maybe I can blast through the blockage. Uh, 
that a machine? Gunny, how you doing? Welcome. Heard a machine. Concentration, survivor. That's all of them. Now to find a way out of this room. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. Oh, that ran on my head. To find a way up to those explosives. It was a. Uh... Let me see something real quick. That messes up the machines. I think that causes interference and they can't see through it. So we're good. Let's 
see where this leads. There's the explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Good thing we dropped the ladder, right, Kings? The explosives. Attention. Check on those miners. All right, yeah, so we had a bunch of components get ripped off. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Oh, there it is. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. Devil May Cry. I played the older one, or, or no, not the, um, what is it? I played the one that people don't like. It was just, I think it's just called Devil May Cry. Um, I do have Devil May Cry 5, though. I did want to play that. And I think I have 4 also. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? It is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. 
I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvat, uh, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. I'm way Corvin. Ulvan's name keeps coming up. And it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. So we unlock some face paint. All right, let's see here. Um, Machine Master. Mounted to take less damage. Yeah, we'll grab that. Machine, over overridden machines deal more damage. I'm not gonna focus too much on machines yet. So we got a melee attack with this one, so light melee, heavy melee, forgot you could fight with these two. Search the west of the quarry for the bristlebacks, let me see where this is. Now this is a, yeah, that's way far down. We got to do Aaron, the main mission, before we even uh, start messing with that. But we're going to head back to town here. I'll turn in all this stuff. Use one of the fast shovel packs. I think I'm talking about the, it was whatever one that Dante's hair was like black and then you would go like, the angel form your hair would turn white. Yeah. The of and three ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. And just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Three pinches of salt, yeah. He's a real rebel. Wow. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. This dude, man. Ace. The only thing, though, chat, is uh, some people would appreciate that extra pinch of salt. I know I... Reduce your concentration recovery time. Bring cook ingredients to cooks around the world. To okay. We get good food through them. Now we got a, be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. Yeah, now we got a nice buff. Mm, see what else Elder's cooking up. That's awesome. All right, guys. So we're going to end this episode here. Uh, I really appreciate you all for coming and hanging out. It was so, so good to get into this. Like, I, I was on the fence because I didn't know 
you know, how I felt about restart and or playing this game again. And I got to say, just jumping into it graphically, it's gorgeous. It's so, so gorgeous. Um, gameplay is fun as hell. It's, uh, it feels really, really good on mouse and keyboard. It's, it's just all around. And we're just scratching the surface. For those of you guys, this is your first time seeing the game. When I tell you we're not even... It, it gets crazy, guys. It gets really, really crazy. Some of the stuff you have to fight, and it's just, it's it's an amazing game. Um, so I'm definitely willing to continue checking this out. Uh, so remember, if you guys want more, just smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll keep it going for you guys, for sure. For sure. You know, we've been, we've been throwing out a few games on the channel new games and we're just kind of trying to see what sticks and uh you know hopefully this is one that sticks that'd be out because i definitely would like to play this one for sure all right but again thank you all so much i appreciate the love and support i uh, hope you all have a great rest of your night i'll be back tomorrow with some more streams so hopefully i'll see a bunch of you guys there and uh yeah i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace